Hello fellow managers and welcome to our game week 9 preview. Let's go ahead and start with some stats and facts. Gilfi Sigurdsson has scored or assisted in each of his 3 Premier League appearances for Everton against West Ham, so you know what to expect from Siggy. Mo Salah has failed to score or assist a goal in his last 4 Premier League appearances against Man United, who are the only team he has faced more than once without registering a single goal involvement. Sergio Aguero has played 6 times at Silhurst Park in the Premier League without scoring. Only at Anfield, with 7, has he had more scoreless away matches at the stadium. Man United are unbeaten in their last 5 home league meetings with Liverpool, of which they have won 3. It is their longest run without defeat against the Reds at Old Trafford since a sequence of 10 between February 1991 and March 2000. Arsenal have played more matches at Bramall Lane without victory than they have against any other ground in the competition, 2 draws and 1 loss. Moving on to clean sheets odds, Man City, The Wolves and Chelsea have the highest clean sheets odds in game week 9, feel free to check out the rest of the odds for all the other teams. Time for our budget picks for this game week, beginning with King. In a good form so far, having scored a goal and assisted 3 others in the last 4 game weeks, with all of these goals involvements occurring at home. Over the last 5 game weeks, only Wilson has more shots on target than King's 2 among teammates. Only Rico, 10, has played more key passes than his 8 as well. He represents a cheaper alternative from Bournemouth's attack to Callum Wilson and has the advantage of being the assigned penalty kicks taker. Since the start of the season, opponents Norwich have conceded at least 2 goals in all games, except one against Newcastle. Wesley from Aston Villa Fulfilling his goal scoring duties very well lately, Wesley has found the net 3 times and also provided 1 assist in the last 3 matches. Aston Villa seem to be finally finding their feet in the Premier League, with a minimum of 2 goals scored each game over the above mentioned period. Wesley's 9 shots on target in the last 5 games are more than any other teammate has produced. Ryan Fredericks from West Ham Despite only one turning into an assist, he has delivered 8 key passes in the last 5 game weeks. Only Philippe Anderson 9 has more among teammates. Favorable upcoming fixtures for Ryan's West Ham, including the reception of both Sheffield and Newcastle after facing goal shy Everton, who have scored only 2 goals in the last 4 outings. Moving on to our differential picks, we start this week with the Spanish former Barcelona speedster Adama Traore. The Wolves haven't been great this season by last season's standards, but they seem to be heading in the right direction, winning 4 in the last 5 games in all competitions, with clean sheets in all the last 3 games. Traore looks to be starting the majority of games having started the last 5 league games in a mixture of different positions, he has 2 goals and 1 assist in his last 3 games, Wolves play Southampton, Newcastle, Arsenal and Villa next. Good fixtures in my opinion and at 5 mil he can be a cheap midfield enabler or an upgrade from the doubtful Cantwell. Paulo Gazzaniga Next we have a chance to get into the Spurs backline for a mere 4.4 mil. Loris is injured and Spurs have been poor lately, but we are confident Pochettino will turn things around soon. They play home to low scoring Watford and Sheffield United in their next 4 games and the other two are away to Liverpool and Everton. Obviously away to Liverpool is a deadly fixture while Everton is not as daunting as it should be. Paulo Gazzaniga is a quality stopper too, an Argentinian international and not much of a downgrade from Loris. Lastly we have the young Chelsea winger Callum hudson Odoi, fresh from his two excellent strikes for England's under 21s national team against the Austrian side. The 18 year old winger is in supreme confidence and is ready to take on Newcastle's defense this week. Callum hudson Odoi has either scored or assisted in every appearance for Chelsea this season, but will he play regularly? We suspect he will. He's ahead of Pedro and Pulisic and Mount prefers to play in the central attacking position, so he should start a lot of games. Chelsea look in decent form currently and host Newcastle this week as mentioned, followed by games versus Burnley and Watford. Our favorite captain picks for game week 9 are Abraham, Kane and Vardy. Now let's finish this preview with some frequently asked questions. The first question, should we keep or sell Son after Spurs recent form? Spurs have now won just 2 matches from their last 10 across all competitions conceding 20 goals. No wonder many FPL managers are rushing to sell their Spurs assets. 
Although Spurs have struggled in recent weeks and seem to be lacking any kind of confidence, Hong Min Son still possesses unquestionable goal scoring potential with only one blank in the last 5 game weeks. Having had 11 shots, 6 on target and registering 2 goals and 3 assists over the same period with Watford home up next, there's a case to hold on to the South Korean against the second worst defense in the league who conceded 20 goals in 8 game weeks. Second question. Who should we get from Wolves after their last two impressive clean sheets and ahead of their two favorable fixtures, Southampton home and Newcastle away? After a poor start to their Premier League campaign this season, Wolves have reminded us of last season's performance with superb displays in their last couple of matches, including a stunning display at the Etihad against defending champions City where they claimed their first away win this season. Wolves next to opponents Southampton and Newcastle are among the 5 worst defenses in the Premier League so far this season, so investing in the Wolves asset should make sense. Raul Jimenez remains a focal point in Wolves attack and seems to rediscover his form from last season in the last 2 game weeks, having had 4 shots and registering 2 assists. Now from a defensive perspective, Matt Doherty remains a major threat for Wolves pushing forward, thus he has the potential of returns at both ends of field. Doherty could be a good option for the upcoming game weeks, especially with Wolves managing to get two successive clean sheets in the last two game weeks for the first time this season. Third question: Play or bench Salah versus Man United? With Salah registering a single goal and two assists over the last five game weeks, and the attractive form of Mane over the same period, four goals and one assist, some FPL managers made the straight swap and saved 0.9 mil. In fact, the debate over whom to own from Salah and Mane may continue till the end of the season, but if we take a closer look at both the attacker's statistics since the start of the season, we find that Salah had more than twice the number of touches in the opponent's box, 75, while Mane 35. In addition to that, only Sergio Aguero has had more shots, 30, than Salah 26 so far this season, which reflects the constant threat that Mo Salah offers. So if you own Salah, we don't recommend making the swap to Mane, while if you own Mane, it would be wise to hold on to him and wait for fixtures to get better for Liverpool. Fifth question, keep or sell Pookie? A black against Aston Villa last game week has ensured that the goalless run for Timo Pookie has extended for the third successive match. Pookie has now registered one goal and one assist in his last five matches, compared to his five goals and one assist in the opening three game weeks. Although Puki is now without attacking returns away from home since game week 1, we are giving the Finland International one last chance this week as the Canaries will be heading to Bournemouth, keeping in mind that Puki has had 7 shots, 3 on target, during his parent spell in the last 3 game weeks. This is it for our game week 9 preview, don't forget to visit our Facebook, Twitter and website for daily tips and updates, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, good luck in game week 9 and peace!